But praise the Lord, warriors of God. Hello, servant of the Lord, Derek Lynn, with a moment in the word of the Lord. Let us pray. Spirit of truth, I ask that you will help me to release the truth of your word. Let the words that I speak, oh God, be spirit and life. As I speak as the oracles of God, let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart be acceptable, Abba, in your sight. For you alone are my strength and my redeemer. In Yeshua's name, I pray right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, warriors of God, very quickly, I want to speak on the subject of it is cleaning time. It is time to clean the house. Amen. It is time to clean the house of God. It is time to clean the government of the United States of America. It is literally cleaning time. But guess who's going to clean the White House? Guess who's going to clean the Supreme Court? Guess who's going to clean the Capitol building? Guess who's going to clean the church? Guess who's going to clean the schools? Guess who's going to clean the hospitals? Guess who's going to do the cleaning. The one who was going to do the cleaning, even on Wall Street, the one who was going to do the cleaning is the Lord God Almighty himself. Not you, not me. God himself has positioned people in place to do the cleaning. And when he gives the order, guess what? The orders will be executed by those whom the Lord God Almighty himself has sent to do the work for him. Oh my God, thank you, Holy Ghost, right now in Jesus' name. Mm. Ezekiel chapter number nine, starting at verses one, the Bible says, then the Lord thundered, bring on the men appointed to the city, tell them to bring their weapons with them. So verse one reads again, then the Lord thundered first when God speaks. And lately I've been hearing a lot about the thundering voice of God, the thundering voice of God. We are about to hear the thundering voice of God in the United States of America that no one will be able to deny that this is the voice of a supreme being. Come on, somebody. We are, we are just so close, my God. And the thundering sound of the voice of God is about to be heard across this country. Oh my God, to God mm -mm. be all the glory. And so he says, bring on the men appointed to punish the city. So that tells me that men have been assigned to punish the city. Men have been assigned. I believe last week or the week before doing the brain of America, the Lord said that the pagan gods, the pagan cities will come down. The pagan gods within these cities are coming down. The false altars of Baal are coming down. God is on the move and he has sent his host to do works that my God will shock the people of this land, will even shock the people of the world and the very elect within the church will be shocked at what God God himself is going to do. And then the Bible says in verse number two, he says, six men soon appeared from the upper gate that faces north, each carrying a deadly weapon in their hands. But before that, if we trans if we were to transition back over to verse number one, part B, it says, tell them to bring, oh my God, this is so good. He says, tell them to bring their weapons with them. So God speaks, God thundered, and his voice is heard. Then he gives the orders, tell the six men that have been appointed to destroy the city to punish the city tell them to come and then he says listen not only tell them to come but when you tell them to come encourage them tell them to bring their destroying weapons with them this is ezekiel chapter number nine this is so good then verse six mm. He said the six men appeared from the upper gate that faces north, each carrying a deadly weapon in their hands. With them was a man dressed in linen who carried a writer's case at his side. Another translation says his inkhorn. He carried pretty much something to write with. That tells me that God has sent his messenger to the earth. Come on, somebody. You and I know that God has books in heaven and he's taking account of every work that we do, what is be good or bad, things are being recorded. I tell folks at the church all the time, smile for the camera because you are being recorded. Amen. And being recorded by who you may ask, being recorded by heaven. Amen. And so, mm, Thank you, Holy Spirit. And so what I believe is, is, is getting ready to take place. The Lord has taken account. He has made a list. Oh, thank you. God has established a list of things that must be done in the earth. And now he has released 
these six men. And with these six men, he said there is one in a white linen. This particular one, he, he is carrying something to write with. It almost comes to me as if it could be Angel Gabriel because Archangel Gabriel is the one who carries the news. So he's always had something to write, I would believe, because he takes no. He was the same one who brought the message, the good tidings to uh, Mary to tell the Virgin Mary that she would conceive and bring for the son and his name shall be called Jesus. He was the same one who appeared to Elizabeth, Zacharias's um, wife, who had a child in her old age when man said it was impossible. God blessed her with a child. And so this is, this is just so absolutely rich. Now let's keep reading this here. And it says here, he carried a writer's case in his side. They all went into the temple courtyard and stood beside the bronze altar. I'm telling you, it's cleaning time. Because not only did these men come, they came to the city that had been appointed for punishment. God sent a special, a special messenger with them. And this special messenger with them, he, my God, he has something to write with. That tells me he had a list of things that needed to be done. And he had things that he needed to, my God, keep track and keep account of. Let me tell you something. Every wicked deed that has been done in this nation regarding the church of Jesus Christ and also regarding regarding the body of Christ, regarding the nation, regarding we, the American people, these things are being recorded in the name of Jesus. And we'll be ending actually shortly. I'm not going to be here long today. And then the scripture says, they all went into the temple courtyard and stood beside the bronze altar. This tells me According to First Peter's chapter number four, verse seventeen, as the Word of God says, judgment shall begin in the house of the Lord. Because if the righteous, if you and I are scarcely saved, what about the godless? Come on, somebody. What about the godless? If you and I barely make it in, what about the godless? That's what the question asks in the book of First Peter's four, uh, uh, seventeen. And so the scripture continues on here. Verse number three, which is good. I think we'll probably stop there. Verse number three says, Then the glory of the Lord God of Israel rose up from between the cherubim. And I'll stop right there. Then the glory of the Lord rose up. Now, the man, first of all, God spoke through the thundering sound of his voice. He gave the orders for the six men to come. With the six men was a seventh man who had uh, uh, things to record in his hand. He had pens to write with, papers to take notes, keep track of the list of things to do and the list of things uh, to be recorded. Come on, Holy Ghost, have your way on today. This is so rich. And then the scripture says here, and so that the glory of the Lord God of Israel rose up and between the cherubims. So that whenever you see cherubim, that means multiple angels, multiple cherub, because one angel, as far as the cherubim category goes, it is a cherub. All right. But then there is just more than one. That means there are cherubim. So now the glory of the Lord rose up because it rested where the cherubims are. And so the glory of the Lord shows up. Why did the glory show up? Because the house was clean. Come on, somebody. God's house has been filthy. It has been made a den of thieves when it needs to be called the house of prayer. And I'm speaking to the church here. Come on in the name of Jesus. And then the nation itself that has on its money in God we trust needs a total makeover. Come on, somebody. America needs a makeover. America needs, my God, a before and a after. Come on, somebody. And so God is sending his assigned cleaning team to do the job and we just going to watch and pray and see what the end of it all is going to be according to the holy scriptures in the word of the lord and so it says the cherubim where it had rested and moved to the entrance of the temple and the lord called to the man dressed in linen which is the special messenger who was carrying the writer's case. He said to him, walk through the streets of Jerusalem. And I would say that God is saying to this special messenger, walk through the streets, my God of America, walk through the streets of the United States of America, walk through the cities of these United States of America, go through, walk through and put a mark 
on the forehead of all who, who weep and sigh because of the detestable sins committed in their city. I think I'll stop here for a minute. He says, go ahead and put a mark because God has a special people in the land and God is making sure his special people receive the special mark. Why? And I'm reading this. I'm reminded of the children of Israel as they were being prepared to transition from slavery to the land of promise. The very last thing that God instructed the servant of God to do is tell the people to get the lamb and each family a lamb and make sure that when the lamb is killed, go ahead, take the blood of the lamb and apply it on the doorpost. And then when the enemy, the death angel would see the blood, he had to skip over that house. And now here in Ezekiel 9, the Lord is giving specific instructions. He says, go through the cities go through the provinces. He said, Jerusalem, I'm saying the United States of America, because this is about what God is doing here in this land as we, the remnant, continue to stand. So he says, go through the land, and I want you to put a specific mark on my people. Mark all those that belong to me. Mark my people. Put a special print on my people. Mm. And I'm like going through this and I, it's almost like I could see that the mark that he is talking about is the mark of the blood of Jesus Christ. The same mark used in the days of Exodus when God's people were exiting out of slavery. We are about to exit out of slavery. We are about to exit out of tyranny. We are about, my God, in the name of Jesus to be released and taken to the promised land. What kind of promised land is that? A land of freedom. Come on, somebody. A land free, free, free of control. A land free of manipulation. A land that is free of lack. A land that is free of high gas prices. A land that is free of empty shelves in the grocery stores. A land that is free, my God, where the children are free and the children are safe, not only in schools, the children are safe in the church. Mm. The children are saved while they're sitting in Sunday schools. The children are safe, my God, wherever they are. Our school systems are safe in the name of Jesus. Take them to that promised land is what the Lord has instructed his specific messenger to do. And I strongly believe this in my spirit that this has to do with Archangel Gabriel. I just believe it and I just know it in my knowing. You say, how do you know? I don't know, yet I do just know. Amen. In the name of Jesus. And this is just such a rich word because um, the, the latter part of that passage in verse five is a little bit scary, but I will read it anyway, because guess what? I am reading from the word of God. Amen. So I will read that. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says, then I heard the Lord say to all the other men, Follow him through the city and kill everyone whose forehead is not marked. Show no mercy. This right here, this right here, I'm telling you, in this Bible right here, what I'm reading, because first he says, go through the city, mark my people. I want my people to be separated because of all the detestable things, all the evil things that's been done in this land, the, the, bl the, the blood of the innocence that's been shed, the stealing, the lying, the killing, my God, the manipulation and, and the control. He says, everything that's been done in the land, you need to go through the land. You need to clean the land. But before you do your cleaning, you need to mark my people because while you are cleaning, I don't want you touching anyone that bears my name. I don't, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. I don't want you touching anyone that believe in me. I don't want you touching anyone that trusts in me. I don't want you harming anyone that belong to me. So in order to do that, I need you to distinguish from my people versus the people of the enemy. And as we all know, Revelation speaks of the mark of the beast, the 666. This is not what this is. This is about God marking his people. See, God is marking his people for success. The enemy is marking his people for failure. Come on, somebody. And you and I both know that God will always win. So God has marked his people. He sent a special messenger. He says, go forth, mark my people. Because of the detestable things that has been done across this land, I am sending these 
men to punish the city. I'm sending these men to punish the land, not the land itself, but the wickedness that has been done in it. In order for God to do that, he wants to separate his people. In other words, separate the sheep from the goats. Remember, wherever there is a sheep, there is a wolf. So be mindful, be wise as serpents and harmless as doves, according to the book of Matthew. And then he says here, he says, follow him through the city. Now, God, now after God had given the order to say, mark my people, then he gave the orders to these men. Follow the one who have, I have sent. Follow my special messenger. Follow the one who has marked my people. And while you're following him, I want you to destroy every wickedness in the land. Do not hold back. Uh-oh, don't take my word for it. Let me read it first before I start speaking. He says, I read the whole verse five again. Then I heard the Lord say to the other men, follow him through the city and kill everyone whose forehead is not marked. Show no mercy, have no pity. Can you imagine the, the God of love, the God of compassion, the God who sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to die for us so that we can be redeemed, we can be saved and return back to him. He is giving these orders. He say, look, after you've separated my people, everything else in it, go ahead. You have permission to destroy it. Look at that. He did it before he'll do it again. Verse six says, kill them all, old and young, girls and women and little children. But he says, do not touch anyone with the mark. Begin right here at the temple. So they began by killing the 70 leaders. This is in the word of God. And as scary as this sounds, it is the word of God. And I have no idea why the Holy Spirit will have me just go through this because as we pray constantly for this country, I'm going through the scriptures. I'm saying now, God, you know, you've done things before. What is it that this, this, what applies to America right now that we need to go through the scriptures and then pray these things through and then speak it through. And that's how these revelations are coming because the more we open up the scriptures and begin to read, he said, yep, yeah, this is what happened and this is what was done to it. This is how it was dealt with and similar things looks like it's taking place and this is what is going to take place because at the end of it all at the end of it all the leaders he took care of them but guess where it started in the house of god it started in the house of god so warriors of God, it is time to pray, my God, more than we've ever prayed. And if you were able and led to fast, fast more than we've ever fasted, it is time to seek the Lord God Almighty. It is time to get in his word even the more, because whatever it is the enemy is cooking up is going to be flipping right over their own heads. Whatever they have plotted and planned is going to come right back on them. Not, oh my God, not 30, not 60 but 100 fold and we need to be sure that we are in the vein of the Lord on the right side of God on the right side of history in Jesus name and we are bearing his mark we are bearing his word we are covered my God with the blood of Jesus and there is nothing that the kingdom of darkness can do that will come against what God has approved amen and the plans to destroy us will backfire and the wicked ones will suffer at their own hands in the name of Jesus Christ. So pretty much what we're doing is putting our hands in a basin, washing it with the precious blood of Jesus. And we're saying, Father, we thank you. Here we are. Send a messenger to our homes, send the messengers to our families, wherever they are. Send the messengers to our loved ones and to our spiritual families, brothers and sisters across the land, and mark their homes, mark their hats, mark their bodies, Lord, that when things are going wherever they need to go in accordance with the assignment of the special messenger, Father God, we will be covered and protected. This is a word that is in season. We will watch. 
we will pray and we will see what the end is going to be. Spirit of truth, I thank you for your word, oh God, today. As we prepare to go into this brand new week, Holy Spirit, I'm just asking, Lord God, that you would just give more revelation, give more understanding, Father, of the things that you are doing in this era. And Father God, help your church to get in position and stay there. Help your sons to get in position and stay there. Help we the people to get in position and stay there because you have sent special messengers across this country that are marking the people of God because of what you are about to do, a clean sweep throughout this land, a clean sweep throughout the church. And so, Father, as we know that it is cleaning time, help us to be clean, creating, as David says in Psalm 51, verse number 10, creating me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence. Take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation in the name of Jesus. Abba, just keep us, bless us, cover us. Help us to remain in a secret place, Father God, and keep the mark and do not lose the mark. Oh my God. Hey. Keep the mark and do not lose the mark. Yes, God, in the name of Jesus, as the messenger sent from God, give us the mark, Father God. We stand firm, covered with the precious blood of Jesus. And Lord, we just pray that those, God, the destructions are intended for me, their hearts be turned to you. Why, Lord? Because you've called us to love. You call us to pray. And Father God, so what we're doing now, we are praying that the hearts of the wicked be turned to you. And Father God, if they refuse, Lord God, you have permission to do things your way and your will be done. In the name of God, the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the Ruha Kadosh, the Holy Ghost, I pray today in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, warriors of God, it is always a privilege, a blessing, and an honor to spend time with a moment in the word of the Lord and just share the word. I bless our week, I bless our days ahead of us. I bless our, our, our months ahead of us. I bless the years ahead of us, God, in Jesus' name. I bless our food. I bless our nation. I bless our White House. I bless our Supreme Court. I bless our Capitol building. I bless, 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 bless in Jesus' name. And I thank the Lord in the name of Jesus. I bless our farmers. I bless our schools. I bless our first responders. I bless our police officers praying for their divine covering and protection. I bless our firefighters and our EMTs and ALSs, God, and paramedics praying, Father, for their divine covering and, and protection in the name of Jesus. And God, I just bless this country, the USA, Father God, because it is your country and we are here praying for this country. Therefore, no devil in hell can take this country from us in Jesus' name. Well, warriors, until the next time, may God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. Have yourself a fabulous, blessed week and don't let no devils whisper to you in your ears. Don't let no devil, my God, get in your way or get you upset throughout this week. Shake, 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 shake the devil off in Jesus' name. Until the next time, have a blessed week. Bye.